My people were hala full grand old. Papa Mobad has openly rejected the toxicology result as he sends strong warning to the government. My people, you have to listen to this audio, but before I play the audio, if you are just putting my channel for the very first time, you're very much welcome. Please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell icon to get notified on time whenever I upload any latest video. Let's go, guys. Um, it was published in various newspapers. Regarding the fact that Daddy Mobad rejected the toxicology results that was announced during the corona inquest. So the lawyers, Daddy Mobad, has done what they need to do. They have publicly rejected the toxicology results. Owing to the fact that um the hospital or the lab that they said the toxicology was carried out in U.S. in Pennsylvania. At the end of the day, they realized that nothing like that was done in the in the lab. The name of Mobad is not even there. So it goes to show that um, the government has lied to us. They have lied to Nigerians and they have disgraced themselves. They disgrace themselves to the whole world. Mobad case has become, has become an international case. I really do not understand why the state government will feel that um, they want to joke with the lives or joke with the the uh, uh, the way a uh, joke with us as Nigerians because they feel that uh, um, Mobad is nobody and as such. His issue is, is something that should be ignored. And we are putting this right to the straight state government that Mobad is somebody that is great. Even in debt, he is still great. Even in debt, he is still great. They thought we would have forgotten about Mobad. But the truth is this, no. We must know those who have a hand in the demise of Mobad, we want to know the people that are connected to why Mobad was spied. It's high time that the state governor, Governor Sowolu, come out and tell Nigerians what is going on with the toxicology results that uh, was read out at the corona inquest. It is a shame and um, I cannot even comprehend how the governor is sleeping, how the commissioner of police, how he is sleeping, and the lecturer who came from the lasso that read the toxicology results. It is a shame on all of them. I can't imagine that a country like Nigeria the number one in Africa. They are making a neat with of themselves. It is so shameful. Very, very shameful. We are going to analyze this issue of this toxicology today. We are going to talk about the rejection by Daddy Mobad. Because he was actually, he, in short, Daddy Mobad is the only one representing the Aloba. He is the only one representing the Aloba family. None of the children of Daddy Mobad is interested in getting justice. Not even the mother of Mobad is interested. It is a shame that at this time, Adura has paid deaf ear to what happened to his own brother. And I want to tell you guys right now that Adura was in the house when everything happened. When everything happened, Adura was in the house. So why has Adura not come out to say what happened to his own brother? 
it is a shame that even the mother that knows exactly what happened to, to his son the mother is misbehaving the mother that knows what happened to, to her son she is misbehaving as well she is misbehaving she knows exactly what happened she was in the house according to Tolani who is the spokesperson for Wumi said Moba's mother knows exactly what happened that is why she came out the other time and said she has forgiven Wumi. Wumi has told her everything that happened, all that transpired in the house. So why is it difficult for Wumi to tell Papa Mobad what actually happened? Why? is annoying my mama bad knows exactly what happened to her own son she does she was there we don't want to talk and talk so that they'll say the doctor say no no this work is we know this work is Tolani said it please you guys share the video so that we can continue let me start it is very very sad it is very very sad at this junction that uh, the mother of mobad who should be at the forefront seeking for justice for his son she is the one that is not even bothered she is not bothered at all why because of what she has been offered That because she has been offered what for your son because of what money Adura could not see anything because they told him they are going to promote his music is that the reason why he couldn't stand up for his own brother is that what this life has turned into where brother has no value for his brother where mother has no is not it, it, ah She's not, she didn't even think of the pain she bore when she gave birth to, to Mobad. All the stress she went through, she has suddenly forgotten everything. All because of what? Oh God. let's start with what daddy mobad did before we continue they said um mobad's father weeps over u.s lab u.s lab denies the results this was um, the one released by punch i think i'll prefer that of um um sunday times let's go just one minute it's so sad okay let's go there or we can even use the one from a uh, uh, premium okay okay reads family rejects mobas autopsy result demands independent post mortem that is the father is demanding that they do another test on his son the family of the late singer Ilerio Luwa Aloba also known as Mobad has rejected the autopsy results conducted on him demanding an independent postmortem and toxicology Mobad died on on the, on the 12th September at the age of 27 they keep saying 27 but it is 26 according to the father he knows how old his son is or was before he passed on he knows how old his son was okay they said mobad uh mobad died on the um, 12th september at the age of 26 in a controversial circumstances leading to the police to assume 
his remain and conducted an autopsy on the 21st of September to ascertain the cause of his death. On 16th May, Premier Times reported that the Sunday and uh, Sunday, Osiemi, a pathologist at Lagos State University Teaching Hospital, Lasso, informed the coroner inquest that the autopsy conducted on Mobad was inconclusive in determining the cause of death. The pathology attributes the inconclusive autopsy to fat such as body decomposing and potential reaction to medication Mobad received before his death, among others. On Monday, the Alaba family challenged Lagos state government to confirm the autopsy authentication because of the public doubt and conflicts reports. They said that at the virtual press conference on Monday with prime, um, with prime times in attendance, spreading and um, spearheaded by Joseph Aloba and his legal team led by Wahab Shitu, among uh, other allegations, the family sought clarification on the location and the venue where the said autopsy was conducted and demands a thorough investigation and answer. The remark, we, the legal representative of the Aloba family, express our profound dissatisfaction and disappointment with the recent um, announcement regarding the toxicology test result of the late Ilerio Oluwa Aloba Mobad which have been declared inconclusive by the pathologist. The outcome is entirely unacceptable to us and the Aloba family raises serious concern about the integrity and the thoroughness of the investigation by the police and the medical team into the untimely death of their beloved son, brother, friend, and friend. The Aloba family uh, and the world demands to know where the toxicology was carried out as what where the toxicology was carried out as this is uh, 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 impunity okay as this is impugned on the integrity then they not said they have the various concerns one of the concerns is this the family claims that the inconclusive autopsy result fail to prove the necessary clarity undermining the public and undermining the public and their faith in the investigation on their investigation so what they are trying to say this uh, uh inconclusive result they do not trust how it was conducted right now the family is not demanding that they do another autopsy and toxicology to ascertain what fired mobad mobad family expressed concern that the autopsy failed to determine the cause of the singer's death adding that they are pursuant of truth and justice along with the hope that the toxicology test report conducted in the United States would shed light on the circumstances surrounding Moba's death. Following the new report in the Posh newspaper on the 31st May 2024, titled US Lab Denies Conducting Poisonous Tests on Moba, and the silence that followed from the government a review of the toxicology test must be necessary. Are you sure that all these things that Mama Mobad is doing is it with her clear eyes? Because I cannot imagine a mother to a child behaving this way as if she's not the one who gave birth to the boy. I, I think 
think that this whole thing is not ordinary. Moral bad is being controlled by something. That is what I'm thinking. Otherwise, a kind of mother <laughs> is very bad. Nobody pray to have that kind of mother. Guys, what do you think about this whole issue? Please drop your comments in the comment section of this video. And if you are just putting my channel for the very first time, you're very much welcome. Please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. And turn on the bell icon to get notified on time whenever I upload any latest video. I will not forget to appreciate all my subscribers. Thank you very much for subscribing. And to my returning viewers, thank you very much for viewing my videos. Guys, don't forget to share this video and also give this video a super thumbs up. This is Light Miss Media, guys. I will see you in the next video.